All right, guys, I'm back. Hopefully, I'm gonna upload all these videos in correct order, and hopefully, you know, nothing happens in the process. Yada yada yada, whatever. But all right. So here's my Emerson again. Uh, I think I have the setting on auto. The, these colors are pretty much right. Might be a little, whatever, a little greener, a little bluer. But um, so what you're looking at here. This is the napkin. This is the tissue I used to clean my brand new Emerson from the factory. This came to me brand new in box. Um, that's what they said at the store. I believe them. They're nice people. There's the lockup is crazy early. So I have no reason to believe that this was used, beaten, whatever before. They don't seem like the people that would do that. So. For all intents and purposes, this is a brand new Emerson, uh, made in 2012, so I mean, yeah, this is a brand new Emerson, and uh, let's just get that in there, there you go, made in 2012, brand new Emerson, this, <laughs> this is the tissue, this is all the gunk that was on it. In the videos where I, you know, I, I shot a couple videos to show what there was. There's like this metal, this like really like crushed up fine metal in this old ass dirty looking lube. It almost looked like oil that's been in a car for 10,000 miles. Um, that's what was around the pivot. That's what was inside the pivot system. That's what was on the bushings in between the bushing and the blade, the bushing and the liner. So, we're the washer and the liner washers. Um, so, if you can tell, if you couldn't tell already, the knife is a ton smoother. I cleaned it all off. I put some CRK fluorinated grease in. And look at that. A ton smoother. Uh, I can't flick it out that well, especially on camera. So, it needs a little wrist flick because the detent's so bad. But I can actually flick it out now. I would have never, ever, ever been able to do that the other way. You know, um, with all the shit in there. Or before I cleaned it. Now, if you noticed before, this lock, or the, shit, man. I'm bad with words today. But um, this pivot system, this pivot, um, it was straight up and down pretty much. Now it's a little more over. Uh, even if I crank out, even if I, it came, it came pointing that way, ridiculously, you know, very tight, I can put it that way, it should have solid, but I'm not really gonna be able to flick it open, but it's a ton smoother now, now as you saw, I can actually flick it open, and it's kind of, it's easy, it's simple, lockup's still great, it still should have solid, so, knife's a lot better now, that's awesome, but I just can't believe it could leave a factory like that. So, I don't know. Have your own opinion. And like I said before, guys, now, now that it's smoother, not as tight, the detent is even, not, the detent, not that the detent's any worse, but it's just a lot more obvious to see how bad the detent is. So, in the other videos, I actually might be able to fix the detent myself by bending it in a little bit. We'll see. I might, you know, this knife's honestly, un undoing this knife, Taking the knife apart and then putting it back together makes me appreciate a Sabenza even more. Not that this is overly complicated, but these two screws go all the way through. These two are in different positions. They go all the way through. Um, lining them all up with the back spacer. And then, yeah, it's it's just a little, it's a little more meticulous. It's a little more annoying. So uh, I really do appreciate a Sabenza. Mm. 